Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser's Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. Avengers, Endgame, you can see behind me. <sighs> ah, yes, it is three hours long, but I get, get to the end, like, I thought it was supposed to be three hours long. Check the phone. Oh, it was three hours. <laughs> oh, my God. So worth it. So freaking worth it. They got everybody, and then some. They have a, no joke, they have a new character. Actually, they probably have a couple, but they had a completely new character you've not seen before. <sighs> Honestly, this is not going to be, I don't, I'll do spoilers at the end because I do want to talk about, about the story and stuff like that, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. You might cry. It took me a few times like, don't cry, don't cry. Then your eyes will be blurry and you won't be able to see the movie. There's a lot of sad points. So, and it is very story heavy. If you're expecting a punch a minute, whatever, you're not going to get that. You're going to get a lot of story. There is action here and there, don't get me wrong, especially at, at the end. But there is a lot of story, and it's so worth it. <clears throat> they got to try to tie off ends for Murica, tie off ends for Iron Man, tie off ends for Thor, tie, just tie off ends for a bunch of people. And Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I, I can't, I'm not going to do the spoiler yet, but Guardians of the Galaxy 3, can't wait. Oh my god, there's just so many people in it. And again, even a new character that we've not seen before. Like, how did you fit this person in at the very, ah. Uh... I will let you know, Captain Marvel does not take up 90% of the movie, like I initially feared, and a lot of people were worried, like, after the Captain Marvel thing and the whole Brie Larson, no man should be allowed to see a Marvel movie if I'm in it. Whee! She doesn't do that. She does not show up that much in the movie, thankfully. It was a little like, oh god, there she is. Now it's all going to be about her. And then, oh no. They decided to focus on the people we've been with for 10 plus years. Like Iron Man, Iron Man, does whatever an Iron Man can. Spins a web, no he don't. All because he's Iron Man. <laughs> God, Robert Downey Jr. And there is no end credit scenes. Because all the end credit scenes are done before the end credits. They normally need to be seeing these at the end of the end credits. But they decided, nah. Let's we'll put them before the end credits. Send people home. But they do do a bunch of cool stuff with the end credits. So you do want to stick around for some of those. But you don't, you don't have to wait until the end. Once they get past all the cool montages, you're good to go. I stayed opposite because everyone, a bunch of people stayed. Even though I had specifically read that there was no end credits or whatever. I'm like, end credit, end credit, credit, and nope, none credits. Sad face. Ah, <sighs> but I don't want, I don't want to spoil anything. But since it's so story heavy, there would be. God, this is such a good movie. Go see it. Pay full price. See it in XD, see it in IMAX, see it biggest screen possible. Go see it. That is my recommendation. 11 out of 10. Go see this movie. This has been building up for 10 plus years, 22 movies. So many characters. No wonder it's three hours long. So yes, that is my suggestion. We'll give it a few seconds and then we'll get into story talk and spoilers and just ah, moments. So, um, Alright, that should be long enough. Captain America. Hail Hydra. Like, who the hell is expecting him to say that line? But it may, in context of the movie, it makes sense that he would say that. Hail Hydra. <laughs> it's like oh my god one thing I like about seeing movies in theaters is that you get the crowd reaction just like with when you see a concert live you get the crowd reaction you get the crowd interaction I'm going ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah when again in context of the movie it makes sense when he leans over Hail Hydra it's like ah, oh, that was amazing like not expecting him to say that and he wields Thor's hammer they're probably going, wait a minute, Thor's hammer was destroyed. Yes. Yes, it was. 
he gets to wield Thor's hammer. I'm not going to spoil that. Oh, this episode is going to be a spoiler section. Yeah, maybe I'll wait to spoil that part, but Captain Murica wields Thor's hammer. It was awesome. Even just like the spinning thing and uh, use lightning with it and all that. I'm like, lightning comes from Thor, not the hammer, because he's the god of thunder, not the god of hammers. So the hammer part, eh, but it was such a badass scene that you don't want to miss it. And Ironheart, or actually, when Pepper Potts wears it, she's called a Rescue, right? She had the heart symbol on her chest for her Iron Man suit, but yeah, Pepper Potts shows up as Ironheart slash Rescue because she's called Rescue. In the comics, and then you get Ironheart, who's new, but not Pepper. Anyways, but yeah, she appears in it. She's the new character. It's like, ah! One thing I think they should have done was, like you saw in the trailers of, like, Captain America. Not Captain America, Iron Man on the, like, ship going, oh, yeah, day 22, we're running out of food. Day 23, action will be cut off by tomorrow. Day 24. They should have done, done that longer. In the first 10 minutes, Hawkeye loses his family. Uh, Iron Man is saved. Oh, that's a huge spoiler, but again, the spoiler section. Okay, if you don't want to hear this, stop now. Un, don, trois. They kill Thanos. Within like the first 10 minutes, Thor goes for the head. I'll leave it at that. Captain Marvel helped. Which is, I guess, like, oh, no, 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 don't have this be 90% Captain Marvel. And then, nope. She shows up, does this. She's like, well, you're not the only planet going through this. Every planet in the universe is going through this. And, you know, we have some Avengers here. They don't have Avengers on their planet, so I'm going to go help them. She appears later again, but... Oh, my God. Uh, the way that they get Thor's hammer back and the way they get people back and the way this all happens... Well, as Dr. Strange says, there is one way that this ends with a win. And it was awesome. Uh, when you get a bigger battle scene than even Lord of the Rings. You have Thanos' army on one side, and then you have... Spoiler, again, people, this is all going to be sports section right now. You have Wakanda. You have the Valkyries. You have uh, the people from the Sorcerer Temple... You have everyone versus Thanos and his army. You got Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Which, mm, fucked with Tony Stark's head, obviously, because I lost the boy. So, uh, And then there's a five-year gap. You get, like, ten minutes, they kill Thanos, realizing, oh, shit, there's no way to undo this. Five years later. And then uh, Scott Lang comes back from the Quantum Realm. Which is very integral to the movie, the Quantum Realm. Because uh, Thanos, the reason they found Thanos is because, well, on the day that he did the snap, we just there was this energy signal. Two days ago, that energy signal was detected on this planet. Alright, so we go there. We're going to get the, so the stones back. Yay! The reason he used the energy again was to destroy the stones. And he, his whole arm, his side of his face, he's all kinds of messed up. He's all about Two-Face at that point. Because he used the gauntlet to destroy the stones. And when he destroyed the stones, it... <sighs> and I was really hoping for... Uh, like a Rocket Raccoon. the mo One of the most selfish characters in the groups. And all that. To be like, oh yeah, we gotta get Thor. Because Thor's a god. He'll be able to handle the snap. And then Thanos knowing that. Like, keep Thor back. And Rocket Raccoon being able to sneak in and go... Oh, this is gonna hurt. And then, like, he's reversing time, using the time stone. Sees Groot. Groot reaches out for him. I am Rocket. Just like, because he's seen Groot disappear twice. So this time you see, like, Groot sees him disappear. But that's not who does the snap. I initially thought it was going to be Hulk. I mean, yeah, Thor. But it was Hulk. The first time. The second time. Yeah. Again, guys, there's only one way. I'll, I'll leave that for the very, very end. Again, there's more spoilers. If you don't want to know how they save the day or avenge everyone, stop right now. Time travel. Scott Lang was gone for five hours. It was actually five years, but it felt like five hours. So, like, well, using quantum entanglement, 
We should be able to go here and then punch a hole there and be there. And that's what takes this movie so long. Is that they split them into different groups. You got Thor and Rocket Raccoon go into 2014 uh, As Asgard 2014. I was like, well, you know what? On one day in 2000, what was it, 12, I think it was, we had three stones right here in New York. So you get Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Scott Lang, Ant-Man, go to 2012, the first Avengers movie. You got the Scepter has a stone, Tezzer has a stone, and then you have the Time Stone from uh, the original Sorcerer Supreme that before Doctor Strange shows up. Like Hulk goes to her and is like, I need a stone. Oh, I'm looking for Doctor Strange. He's not going to be here for another six years. Oh, oh, well, I'm actually not here for him. I'm here for that. Then they, she, him and her fight, and she just owns him because she uses magic and all that. So then he's like, all right, well, let me try to explain to you what's going on. That's This is where the Hail Hydra thing comes because uh, Captain America is going for the scepter. And he, that this is before, like, we know that S.H.I.E.L.D. is actually Hydra, but he knows that S.H.I.E.L.D. is actually Hydra. So he gets on. And it's like, what are you doing? I'm taking point on this. Uh, let me call the director. And he's like, oh, shit. He's going to tell him that I'm not point on this. So he leans over to the guy. Hail Hydra. I was like, ah. like, oh, he's part of us. Okay, we're good. And then kicks the ass. And then they have the cube. Oh, I wonder if Loki's still alive now. Because they had the cube in the chest. They're trying to get the chest before it gets taken away by whomever. When... The actual Hulk, not the Hulk that went back in time, but the original Hulk, interferes. The case opens. Loki goes, oh, yoink, and uses the cube to disappear. It's like, well, shit, now do we do? Well, there was another time where, A, I know where the cube would be, and, B, we'd be able to get more of that Hank Pym particle. Because uh, they only had a limited amount of the time travel chemicals that they were going to be using. It's like, well, I know when we get more of it in 1970, and the Tesseract cube will also be at the same place. Are you sure? 90%. So Captain America and uh, Tony Stark go back in time to 1970 to get the cube and more of the time particle stuff where uh, Tony meets his dad. Like, I'm uh, I'm Howard. Howard Potts? Oh, I'll be easy. Remember, my name's Howard, too. I'm a Howard Stark. Uh, yeah, n nice to meet you. Oh, what's the flowers for? Ah, uh, my wife's pregnant. Huh. And he gets closure with his dad because his dad's like, you know, sometimes I put the good of others before my own. But, like, I really want to change around. But there's just so much to do. And I'm in charge of so much. But I want my son to know that he will always be my number one priority. Even if it doesn't seem like he'll be my number one. That if I'm gone for six months at a time doing something, I'm doing it for him. And it's like, aww. Tony Stark gets some closure with his dad. Then, uh, who was the other group? Oh, uh, Nebula and War Machine go to the planet where Quill first finds the Power Stone and knock him out, take the stone from him. Nebula sent, uh, Natasha, Black Widow, and Clint Barton, Hawkeye, to the planet where Red Skull is with the Soul Stone. What a bitch. She didn't, she didn't warn them. It's like, oh yeah, go here to get the Soul Stone. So they go there. And then Red Skull warns them, like, the only way to get the soul is to sacrifice another soul. So then uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye are like, oh shit. Then they fight it out. Because they be like, no, I don't have a family. Well, my family's gone too, and I'll do anything to bring them back. Oh, but I'll sacrifice myself because I have no one. Well, again, I'll do anything to bring my family back. It should be on me. No, they fight. Black Widow wins. She sacrifices herself. Clint gets the Soul Stone. But yeah, so they go through all this stuff. Get all the stones. Loki's in the movie. Even if it just a few seconds. That was hilarious. Here and there. <laughs> uh, anyways. Got distracted. This all leads to them getting the all the stones. They make a gauntlet. It's like, it might work. Hulk... Hold up the gauntlet, and... Boom! Fucks him up, too. 
Just like it did Thanos when Thanos used it to destroy them. Unfortunately, when Nebula and War Machine were getting uh, the Power Stone from Quinn before Quinn joins the Guardians and all that, the original Nebula in that timeline detected that there's something wrong. And then Thanos like, all right, hacking through her brain, figure out what's going on. Oh, there's another. And they get all the footage, all the memories from the one that traveled back in time. So then he goes there, kidnaps the original, well, the time-traveling Nebula. They torture her, get information. And then the original timeline Nebula, who's not turned yet, breaks off a part of the new, the time-traveling Nebula to disguise herself, like put it on her to disguise herself as the time-traveling Nebula. So she can break in and try to get the stones back. It's There's a lot of stuff going on, but... Once Hawk snaps his finger, yay, everyone's coming back. Boom. Thanos bombs the Avengers facility. Then he sits down and is like, all right, Nebula, go do your job. I'll wait. And then Thor, Captain America, and uh, Iron Man come out. Oh, uh, when Thor went back in time with Rocket Raccoon, he went, what are you doing? Wait for it. Sometimes it takes a minute. Fling. Got the hammer back. So now he's got the God Killer Axe and his hammer. Plus Iron Man, plus Captain America with his original shield. Still fighting to a standstill. And uh, Thanos had this weapon that was strong enough. It was actually destroying Captain America's shield. Like, holy hell. Gets Captain America knocked down. Starts beating the sh out of Thor. Thor tries to use the axe. Like, oh, axe here. And then Thanos grabs it, turns it, and starts pressing into Thor's chest. Thor's gonna fight back, and then he's like, starts piercing the chest, and then the hammer hits him. Like, yeah, Thor call for it? Nope. <laughs> Comes back, Captain America's wielding the hammer. Everyone in the theater went nuts at that. And it's like, oh my god, he's using it. He even does like the spinning thing and the lightning and just all that. Still not enough. It is Thanos, after all. Thanos has his army appears, like, oh god, we're going to, like, Captain America's there, and it's like, just the biggest army you've ever seen. He's like, oh, and like got those giant monster things that were flying and all that. And he's just like, now what? All of a sudden, on your left, whew, Falcon, uh, Black Panther, his armies, uh, all the people from the Time Temple, Ironheart or Rescue, whatever. I don't. They never gave her a name. Even in the credits, it said Pepper Potts. So you didn't. But it's, it's everyone appears. Including Spider-Man. Sp Everyone went nuts for Spider-Man. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Spider-Man. Ah, oh, there's some great stuff. And then they're trying to keep the gallon away. And it's like, well, we got to return to... St oh, another part of... One of the reasons why the time source was unwilling to part with the time gem was... You'll be saving your timeline, but you'll be creating new timelines every time you take away a soul stone. Or the time stone or the reality stone. We'll be creating new realities and new timelines which may be dark which may be just destructive as all get out because these stones have been misplaced so hawk promised like right, i'll make sure we return all the stones to the exact moment that we stole them so that this doesn't happen the time machine was obviously that they were using was blown up by thanos attack but they still have the van <laughs> the van is still there so now they got to try to get the gauntlet to the van and it's like uh, Clint's got it, and then he's getting bogged down. So Black Panther shows up, grabs it, he's going, he gets attacked, too many, tosses it to Peter Parker. Peter Parker starts being awesome. Then uh, he gets swamped. So Captain America throws the hammer, touches himself to the hammers, whee, gets away from there and all that. It was just so cool. <sighs> but then Thanos gets the gauntlet. Captain America shows up. Not America. Captain Marvel shows up just in time. Saw some like holds the one pink, one like a pinky and a thumb to keep him snapping his fingers. So he reaches over the other hand, pulls the power stone off, like takes the power stone into his hand and blasts her. And he just goes to put the power stone back on. Now and then Iron Man stops him from snapping. Finally knocks him away. You're too late. I am inevitable. <laughs> Nothing. Iron Man holds up his hand. I am Iron Man. Vaporizes Thanos' army. 
So they all turn into dust, and then Thanos sits down, turns to dust. Everyone went nuts at that, too. But I just love that. Because, obviously, he is Iron Man from the first one at the end and all that. It's like, oh, about your bodyguard. I am Iron Man. So he, just holds, he just holds up, got all the things on his hand. I am. No, I am inevitable. Huh? I am Iron Man. But being mortal, his body couldn't handle using the Infinity Gauntlet, so tear. They had a funeral. A lot of people there, including Nick Fury, who's back. Yay! But like I said, like all the end credit scenes were no longer end credit scenes. They were d- done before the end credits, like that. Like uh, they failed that at the time they returned the stone, so they'll that they what would normally be an end credit scene for the end credits of. Bruce Banner making another time machine. They're going to send Captain America back. They return them all. And then when they try to bring him back, it's like, he's not coming back. What's going on? All of a sudden, oh, old guy over there. Uh, Rhodey walks over. And he's like, hey, how's it going, Steve? And he's an old man now. Mm, felt better. And then slows the down and is like, well, what are you doing? It's like, I decided to live that life that Tony kept telling me to live. Opens up a thing, it's a shield, he hands it to him, like, make sure you do it, I'll do the, I'll do the best. That's why you deserve this, so now we got a new Captain America. And, like, he hands it over, he pats him on the hand, you see the wedding ring. Want to tell, tell me about her? No. <laughs> but, yeah, he got to go back, he got to be with Peggy. Got to marry her and grow old together. It's like, aw. That means no more Iron Man, at least no more Robert Downey Jr., and then no more Captain America. Tear. But I was actually kind of surprised that those were the only two, like, killed off permanently. And just a f- great fucking way of, I am inevitable. Wait, wrong hand. What? I am Iron Man. <laughs> it was so cool, so great. Ah. So glad I got to see it on opening night before anyone could spoil it. And again, I gave plenty of warning. If you're watching this at this point and you're mad about me spoiling it, I gave you plenty of warning not to watch the end. So yeah, guys, 11 out of 10. Amazing. Go see it. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.